dewy cobwebs. See all the cobwebs? It's a September misty morning. Typical September old fashioned misty morning. Cobwebs, dewy cobwebs. I'm right with the boys. And my boys, come on in. Right with the boys. All misty across there. That change in the air, uh, change in the temperature. Oop, get my finger out of the way. Hey, hey, boys. I love this. Look, that one's got a spider in the middle. Oh, you can't get it. You can't pick it up. I don't think so. Oh, there's a nice mist. There's a nice dewy cobweb. A green spider. See all the cobweb on the grass. I didn't realise how many spiders there are in the world until you get mornings like this. And you see all the cobwebs of all types all over the place. It's a good time of the year. For the fungi to start coming out as well. There's another grain spider. Here's the boys waiting for me. Cobwebs are all along the fence, all along the fence line, all along the grass. Everywhere, cobwebs. There's so many spiders. That's just the ones you can see. There's one in the middle of his web. Waiting for the... Waiting for the dew to burn off by the sun. I reckon... I reckon when the sun comes out. It's going to be a warm day. It is on these sort of mornings usually. The wild, wild blackberries on the bushes. And the lovely blackberries. Apparently, there's over a hundred species of blackberry. Well, not species, micro species of blackberry apparently. So, if you're wondering why sometimes you go somewhere the blackberries are big, sometimes they're small, and if you study the plants, boring stuff, I know this is, if you study the plants, the leaves, the leaves are slightly different, and some of them are more thornier than others. Some of them have bigger thorns, some have little thorns. Yeah, didn't, did you realize there was that many blackberries? Right. Through this gate. There we go, through the gate. Good boys. Hey, it's really misty along here. We won't go across that field, boys, because they've still got the stubble of the um, harvested rapeseed that was harvested, and they leave these big long stalks in the ground. Probably showing this in one of my other videos. And they're pretty stiff and sharp. Uh well, jagged you wouldn't want to run through there guys. You're gonna the apple orchard's full of apples. Good looks like a good crop this year. It's autumn time. Early autumn. Well I don't know if it's actually classed as autumn but it's definitely in the air. The cobweb. Well, once you've seen one cobweb, well, maybe you haven't seen them all, but we won't bore you anymore with cobwebs. We'll just bore you with the rest of the walk. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Oh, if, I, if I was a photographer and I had decent equipment, this would take great picture. The uh, cobwebs on this old hogweed onto seed with this yellow with a yellow snail on there as well. Lovely nature. These seed heads might look like old dead old crispy seeds heads of an old plant but I'll tell you what even look even better when the frost is on it. We must come along here on a frosty day. Hey Murph, what do you reckon?
I just randomly thought I'd get the camera right, well the phone out, and do some filming. Oh, can you see all them apples? If this fence wasn't here I'd be over there munching on them. Because I know there's quite a few eaters. Right. Ah. Boring whole walk for you? Nah, it's not boring for me. I love it. It's a way of getting away from all the crap in the world that's going on at the moment. And there's always crap going on in the world, I know, but just lately, these last few years, wow. And uh, in the UK, the old, uh, the old queen has died, bless her, Elizabeth, after 70 years. That's a big change for the UK. Charles will become the king. Uh, we've got a new government, well not new government, sorry, new Prime Minister, because our last Prime Minister basically mm, things up. And I don't know whether this one will do any better. Yeah, we've got a fuel crisis across the world. The prices of everything's going up. It's all getting pretty shitty. Still, there are some people in the world, uh, like Pakistan, that are flooded, lost everything. In the parts of the world that people are having fires, burning everything they've got. You know, and there's wars, that Russian prick, that Russian nuthead, what he's doing to the world and doing to Ukraine. You know, there's all sorts of things that could go on and on and on. So, anyway, I shouldn't be thinking about all that now. I'm out with my dogs. I'm out with my dogs. And the closest thing I can get to nature. I recommend it, everybody, even if you haven't got dogs, go out for a nice walk in the rural landscape or the countryside or the wilderness. What's left of it. Get out there. Enjoy nature. I won't keep on filming. We're going to have a really long walk today. We're on, on the way to the river. Because these two boys have got themselves a bit muddy because we've had a bit of rain lately and uh, the ground's got a bit muddy in places so I was going to avoid the river but now I'm going to have to, to go and swell them off get the muck off them and there's a big pile of uh, compost there or something farmers have dumped they've got plans for spreading it on this field no doubt I, don't know, I imagine they'd plow all these stalks into the ground and spread all this. That looks like good stuff. Good mountain of well composted manure. And there's a massive pile that's been there for all year across the back of the field. Anyway boys, wait, we're going to cross the road now. Got to wait.